I grew up in a house with a lot of books and our uh, spare time was spent reading a great deal. I always had a few books that I owned. I was probably just happy borrowing them. We could get more by going to the library than waiting to get books. My family was not particularly about books, but the children all seemed to have books available to uh, at pretty much any time you wanted to uh, entertain yourself. It was cheap entertainment. I'm sure there was a point where I wasn't surrounded by books, but there was always other things to do. I always spent a lot of time outside. I didn't feel discontented that I didn't have books. I've always had reading material around, maybe not surrounded by books, but I've frequently, I've always had something to read. I wouldn't say I've always wanted to own a lot of books, but I've never regretted spending money on books. It's not a bad hobby to have of collecting books. They're just sort of a uh, constant source of information and entertainment. I have a lot of books, but I never go back and read those books. And so I've come to the point that I'm not sure whether it's something that maybe I should have checked more things out from the library instead of purchased the books. I, just by virtue of my studies and so forth, I've sort of acquired a, a library of books not well organized, but it's organized enough for my needs. I have no idea how many books I own. Your dad would say too many. <laughs> but I do have a library to reference back to at any given time. The amount of knowledge that I've built up over the years, it's helpful to have that available when I need it. I enjoy having the books around, and when I see my stacks of books, it does make you feel like you've accomplished something because they've been read and enjoyed. They're definitely uh, here for a purpose, not simply to look good. Because you have read all those things, and I mean, those stories stay inside you, even if you can't always recall necessarily the titles and the stories together. For the most part, my books are more or less uh, sort of informational sources for me. I do think that what you read influences how you react to things and interact with others. If my collection of books were to disappear, that would be a shame. Well, if there wasn't any books in the house, I think it would be kind of sad, but I do need to find a better way of organizing them so that there aren't just piles of books everywhere. So as a result, my office is oftentimes piled with books. It's kind of a mess. Maybe I need to get a bookshelf or fill a bookshelf or donate the books that I no longer need so that others can read the stories. Because I do enjoy passing books along that I've enjoyed. I would consider myself a book collector, so I do collect a lot of books. When I go to the bookstore, I never say to myself, I shouldn't collect any more books because I have too many. <laughs> I don't think it's a matter of owning the books that would make me feel different or not. I think it's a matter of reading the books that adds something to yourself. And now you're being bossy. <laughs> I'm in charge. You're in charge. Okay.